In this video, I'm going to show you an easy, powerful offer that you can use when selling go high level to local businesses. Now, this offer is so good because businesses absolutely love this. It's really hard to say no to this. And it's a really good foot in the door offer that you can use where you'll share a ton of value for the business owner. And then later on, you can upsell them on other features or services that you offer. So I'm not going to waste any of your time. Let's just jump right into it. So the first thing that we're going to do is find small local businesses. And this can pretty much be any business that you want. Pretty much any business out there will benefit from this offer. And as you can see here, I have a couple niche ideas that you can choose from. The most popular ones are going to be home service niches like landscaping, HVAC, plumbing, roofing, solar, etc. But like I said before, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Now in picking a niche, if you already have experience with that niche or you have a lot of knowledge about that niche, it's probably going to be best just to choose that niche because you already understand it. You already know how the business operates, what they offer, etc. But if you have absolutely no experience, no knowledge with any niche, you can just choose whichever one that you're interested in and you don't mind working with. Now, if you can't come up with any niche ideas we can use ChatGPT for some help so as you can see here I just went to ChatGPT and I'm just gonna ask it to give me a list of niche ideas I can target with my b2b marketing software so I'm gonna click on enter and just like that ChatGPT should give me a list of niche ideas that I can choose from so here we go let's just wait for this to load we have healthcare providers like dentists chiropractors physical therapists real estate financial services we have home services like plumbers electricians HVAC pest control etc we have automotive health and wellness and so much more now if you still don't see anything that you like you can just come over here and type in more and ChatGPT should give you a brand new list of niche ideas so this is going to help you out a lot when choosing a niche so guys now that we have a niche that we can target what we're going to want to do next is just ask the business owner if they have a list of old leads that they've never closed and then we're going to ask them if we can turn their old leads into sales so if you guys haven't figured it out we're going to be running a database reactivation campaign for the business owner so what we're going to pretty much do is ask the business owner for a list of old leads that they've never closed we're going to take that list of leads launch them into a database reactivation activation campaign which we can do with go high level and this campaign is going to reactivate any old leads back into their pipeline and it's going to turn their old leads into paying customers so these are leads that are just forgotten about that the business owner really doesn't do anything with and these are all leads that the business owner probably worked really hard to get they may have even spent money or ran ads to get those leads so instead of just wasting their old leads we're going to help them make some money so guys when reaching out to business owners we can say something like this we guarantee your niche 10x returns without spending a dime on ads we recently achieved this for and then you just want to drop a case study helping them with the outcome that you help this case study with if you're ready to achieve and then you just want to add their desired outcome reply yes with your best phone number now obviously you don't have to say this word for word you can change this up a little bit but it's important that you're mentioning their niche you're adding a case study to build social proof and then you add their desired outcome right here whatever the niche's desired outcome is now this is a really good offer because business owners are used to hearing marketing agencies over and over again pitching to them that they want to run ads on Facebook Google TikTok, whatever but this is a really unique offer because right here we're telling them that they don't need to spend any money on ads and we're going to be making them a lot of money so this right here is going to intrigue the business owner and it's going to get them interested in our offer so when finding leads for this offer it's going to be extremely easy we can just use this free method right here by using google so all you want to do is just go to google.com and you just want to search for your niche right here click on enter and then you just want to come over here until you see the google my business listings click on more businesses and just like that you're going to get a list of a ton of businesses that you can reach out to and all these listings right here will have all the information that you need to reach out to the business like their phone number website and then if you come over here you're going to get their web results so right here you're going to get a good chance of finding their facebook or instagram page and then if you click on their website pretty much all the information that you need will be on that website now when using this method of reaching out to businesses it's probably going to be best to go to the later pages of google and find businesses who are actually suffering because the businesses on the first couple pages of google are doing pretty much everything right that's why they're ranking high so you just want to find businesses who aren't doing everything right because these are businesses that we're going to be able to help the most now if you don't want to scrape all these leads manually you can use a chrome extension called instant data scraper and what this chrome extension will do is just scrape all those leads on google for you and this is going to save you a ton of time and this chrome extension is completely free now if you still don't want to find leads this way there's a bunch of other paid tools that you can use like apollo or d7 lead finder and tools like those will give you a list of leads that you can use so let's say that you get a business owner to agree to move forward what you're going to want to do now is just go to go high level and you're going to want to create them their own sub account inside of their sub account we're going to want to start by creating them a pipeline with this pipeline that we're going to create them they're going to be able to track the progress of this campaign so if we just go over here to opportunities and we go to pipelines we can go ahead create a new pipeline and we're just going to name this dr campaign now for the first stage of this campaign we're going to do something like this offer sent and then for the second stage we can do something like this interested and then for this stage right here we can do something like this 
not interested. Now let's go ahead and save this pipeline. And now if we go over here, we're going to see our new pipeline. So as you can see here, the business owner will be able to see all of the people that they put in the DR campaign. And they're going to see how many people received the offer. And then right here, they're going to see how many people were interested. And then over here, how many people were not interested. So now that we have a pipeline built out, we're going to go ahead and create this campaign. So we're just going to come over here to automation, come over here, create workflow, start from scratch. And we could just name this DR campaign. Now for the trigger, we're not going to add one because we're going to launch this campaign manually. But if you want to add a trigger, you can. You can do a trigger like when you add a tag to a contact that says database your activation, they're going to be added to this campaign. But for now, let's just keep this empty. And I'm going to show you how to launch this campaign later. But for this first action, what we're going to want to do is just add a tag. And for this tag, we can do something like this DR campaign just to help organize everything. And so that we know that this person was put in this campaign. Now, the next thing that we can do is add an opportunity right here we're going to select the pipeline that we just created and for this stage we're going to do offer sent so now anyone who goes through this campaign will automatically be put in this stage so now let's save this and now let's go ahead and add our first sms so i'm just going to do this and right here for this sms you just want to add a really good offer that the business owner is okay with doing so for this example i'm just going to do contact first name it's ashley at location name today we're giving out a few vouchers for 50 dollars off any 199 dollar or more treatment would you like one just reply yes so you guys can do something like this. Now, when doing this, you can just ask the business owner if they have any really good offers that worked in the past. But if they don't have any really good offers or you can't think of one, you can just go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to give you a really good offer for your database reactivation campaign. And ChatGPT will go ahead and give you one. And you can just go ahead and play with that offer that they give you, change it up a little bit, make it a little better, and so on. So now that we have our first text message, we're just going to go ahead and save this. Now, what we're going to want to do now is just add a wait time. So for this wait time, we're just going to wait one day and we're going to wait for a contact reply and we're going to wait for them to reply to that first text message that we sent and then again it's going to time out after one day so let's just name this and now that we have a wait time we're going to add an if else condition and for this condition name we're just going to name it replied and then right here we can do yes and then over here we're going to do contact reply and then we're going to do reply message is and then right here we're going to do yes and then down here we're going to go ahead create another branch and this is going to be contact reply reply message is not yes and then for this name we can just name this replied other than yes. And now if we save this, as you can see here, we now have three branches. So over here, let's say that someone replied yes to this campaign. If they do that, they're going to come down here. Now, if they replied something other than yes, they're going to come down here. And then if they don't reply at all, and it's been a day, they're going to come down here. So let's say that the contact replied yes. What we're going to do is just add a tag. And this tag, we could just name it responded. And we can go ahead and save this. Next, we're going to add an opportunity. And this opportunity is going to be inside of our DR campaign pipeline. And the stage is going Going to be interested and then we can go ahead click on save and then next we're going to add an internal notification to let the business owner know that someone replied yes to their database reactivation campaign so right here we can just title it contact first name reply to your dr campaign and for the message we're just going to say get back to them as soon as possible now let's save this and then finally we can go ahead and add an sms and for this text message we can just say something like this awesome i saved a spot for you around what time can you come by and that's going to be it for the yes column so whenever someone replies yes the business owner should get Get notified the contact should respond to this text message and now all the business owner would have to do is just take over and schedule a time for their appointment now if someone comes over here and they respond to this text message other than yes they're going to come down here and right here what we're going to want to do is we can add a tag and this tag again we can do responded and now the next thing that we can do is just update them in our pipeline so if we actually go back i forgot to add a stage in the pipeline go over here go to pipelines edit our dr campaign we can add another stage that says responded so let's just move this up right here Let's save this and now let's go back over here to the automation edit our automation and then over here let's come down and let's go ahead add an opportunity and for this opportunity we're going to move them to the stage that says responded and then we can go ahead save this and then we're going to go ahead add an internal notification we're just going to say contact name replied with the following message to your dr campaign and then we're just going to add the message right here and this will just let the business owner know that someone responded and that they need to get back to them as soon as possible so here we go that's now going to be it for this column now let's say that someone doesn't respond to this text message and it's been over a day what we're going to want to do now is just continue this campaign and we're just going to want to continue sending follow-up messages until someone responds so i'm just going to quickly build all this out and i'm going to show you what that looks like so here we are here's what it's going to look like if someone doesn't respond to our text message we're going to come down here and what we're going to do is just send them a follow-up text message the following day and then what's going to happen next is we're going to wait a day now if they respond with yes they're going to be taken all the way back
back up here. And then if they respond to something other than yes, they're gonna come over here. Now, after a day, if they still haven't responded, we're gonna send another follow-up message. And then it's just going to repeat the process. We're gonna wait another day. If they respond yes, they're gonna be taken all the way up over here. If they respond something other than yes, they're gonna come over here. And then if they still haven't responded after a day, we're going to send another follow up message. And this is just going to repeat the process. And then finally, if they still haven't responded after a day, what we're going to do is just update them in our pipeline and they're going to be moved to the stage that says not interested. So this is going to be the entire campaign and you can build this out however long that you want. If you want to make it shorter, you can. But building it out like this will help the business owner track the progression of their leads. And they're going to see how many people responded, how many people responded other than yes, and how many people weren't interested. So this campaign right here will make your client a ton of money if you guys are using a really good offer and again you are going to want to make sure that you're checking with the business owner if the offer that you're running is okay so now that you guys have your campaign built out let's go ahead and launch this campaign so to do that all you're going to do is come over here to the contacts and then you just want to come over here to where it says import contacts and then right here is where you want to upload the list of leads that your client gives you once you do that you can go ahead click on next and you can upload all this information now once you do that you're just going to want this to load so here we are after you do that you're going to see all the leads that you imported now to launch this campaign you just want to go ahead click on the leads that you want to add to the campaign then you want to click on this robot icon and then you want to click on proceed and then right here you just want to click on your database reactivation campaign and then you can go ahead and name this whatever you want and then right here you can go ahead and add all these contacts to the campaign all at once you can schedule a time or you can add in drip mode to do it little by little but since we have a small list we're just going to do it all at once now once we click on add automation all of the contacts that we imported will be added to that campaign and now those contacts will start to receive those text messages with that really good offer and just like that with this simple campaign you're going to be making your client a ton of money so guys that's how you're going to be able to launch this simple campaign for your clients now for this campaign you can charge the business owner $500 for the campaign and this is something that you can do for the business owner every single quarter if you don't want to charge the business owner like this all up front you can do a 30 to 50 percent profit share so for every customer that your client closes with this campaign you can just take 30 to 50 percent of the profit now this is a really good way to structure your offer because if you do it this way if you do a profit share the business Business owner literally has nothing to lose the only way you make money is if they make money so business owners really do like this so if you want to you can go ahead and test this out and that's pretty much going to be it for this video guys if you guys have any questions just let me know down below also if you guys are new to go high level i do have a 30-day exclusive free trial link down below now if you sign up with this link down below not only will you get a 30-day free trial but i'm also going to send you a bunch of other bonuses and resources as well also if you don't want to build everything out for your clients whether it be funnels websites automations etc you guys can go ahead and check out our snapshot all down below and inside of this vault we have a ton of premium snapshots that you can upload for your clients and using one of these snapshots you can get your client up and running in no time with little to no effort on your end so go ahead and check that out if you're interested and then finally go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you got some value from this video and i'll see you in the next one